Charmander represents what goes in inside the powerhouse of your cell that everybody talks about as the mitochondria to make ATP, the currency of energy, to burn. We have gone through photosynthesis and it seems like we've used up all of our Pokemon. And as looking at where we're supposed to go, once we understand this process in its full, cellular respiration to get the rest of the ATP is just the reversal of everything we've done before in its own chemical way. We, at the end of photosynthesis, released oxygen from the water. We got the CO2 fixed into glucose, and we have a little bit of ATP and electron carriers that are all these Pokemon that are products of photosynthesis. The interesting thing is whenever you have cellular respiration, it's actually just combustion. The removal of carbon dioxide from glucose or cellulose, like you find in wood at a bonfire, that releases a certain amount of heat energy. And that heat energy is lost into the atmosphere. But for us, inside cellular respiration, we get adenosine triphosphate, adenosine molecule with a three phosphate tail. Whenever you break apart glucose in glycolysis and eventually move that into the mitochondria, that process is just splitting this apart and you eventually give off carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is respired out, given off to the atmosphere, given off to the air so that plants can eventually pick it up and reverse it back into glucose. Electron carriers are also present to provide some of the energy for the enzymes that drive the cellular process, that make respiration happen, that make the actual Krebs cycle turn. Water is eventually made because oxygen gas is taken in and the electrons that are now of low energy use the electrons to attach oxygen to protons to make the water. You see, we all of a sudden have carbon dioxide, water for oxygen, and electrons of lower energy states all bound together. These electrons are actually used in electron carriers to drive its very own electron transport chain. Electron transport chain that looks a lot like the light reaction. As those electrons move down along that membrane inside of our mitochondria, as it moves down, it also pumps protons across that gradient. Those protons eventually flow through and again, spin the ATP synthase to attach an ADP molecule to another phosphate to make ATP. ADP becomes ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the currency that we've been wanting this entire time. A massive amount of energy taken from the sunlight, put into electrons, and eventually moved throughout photosynthesis and cellular respiration to give us ATP the thing that fuels both you and I.